Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi guys, today I will show you quickly how to use MATLAB to uh, to solve ordinary differential equation in the state space representation. If you remember our previous homework, it was inverted pendulum problem. So I suppose guys that you are able to derive uh, the equation of motion of this system and then to put it in the state space representation state space representation that I'm using is x1 is equals to x x2 is equals to x dot x3 is equals to theta and x4 is equal to theta dot so I took in consideration that there is some kind of friction here so don't worry if you saw f theta it's I use it in constant friction but normally you will be able uh, to put the system uh, in the state space representation so for that we need to open MATLAB and to write our code okay we need two main files uh, one main file and one uh, M file for uh, our inverted pendulum system so first of all we need to clear all the memory of MATLAB then close any open window then clear the screen after that we just need to write F1 or F2 and then is equals and then we need to call our function so just call the inverted pendulum but uh, this file we will develop it later then we set our time this is uh, t finds equals to 5 seconds then uh, t is, is from 0 to t final where the step size is equal to 0 0.01 then we initialize our values for example this is x is equal to 1 x dot 0 theta is equal to pi over 3 then it's uh, theta dot is equal to 3 for example let's just choose a small value a value of theta then k we are using the control law uh, the feedback control law uh, it's equals to minus k times x so that's why we need to specify k then we need to solve our ordinary differential equation so we will save uh, the time in t uh, and the state space uh, variable in x then we call ordinary differential equation 45 there is a bunch of ordinary differential equation you'll find it in uh, function browsers for example if you hit ODE it will appear a bunch of them uh, the one that I'm using is ODE 45 so don't worry guys okay then you will need to call your function F1 then uh, specify your time after that you need to choose your initial points then just use uh, this as no specification in ordinary differential equation for 45 then at the right you use all the parameters or the constant that you are using for example if you have mass and length and gravity you can use it here or you can use it in the body of your uh, function then I think that you can deal with the plot and it's easy so you, uh, for example we, if we need to plot x we'll choose the first component of x so plot x all the components of the first variables so just plot it all then we go to inverted pendulum so I create another file called inverted pendulum so just write function this is our function this is our output x point this one is x point so it's equal to inverted pendulum just use the same word that you used here so then we'll save time and x state variable then uh, these are the output then 
use the parameter k that you specified already so uh, as I told you before you can use uh, any constant constants these are uh, the variables of the system so just put it here after that we need to specify our control loop is it's equal to minus k k is well defined x also so u is well defined uh, later on we need to uh, set our output x point is equal to uh, x point is have the same size of x so it's 4 by 1 then we need just to write to copy our state space representation so as you can see x point x1 point is equal to x2 x2 or uh, x2 point is equal to minus mj just write this bunch of equations guys after that you hit on run change directory and save it as uh, an m file don't worry about this error it appears since k is not defined for uh, the function but k is uh, well defined in the main uh, program so just hit on run here and everything should be fine so as you can see guys this is the plot this is x x dot theta and theta dot so for example if you want to plot u you go here and you change the size of x point you make it 5 and make here for example xp xp5 is equals to u so then hit on save again go back and now you need to add another component for x0 uh, also another component for k so that uh, the scalar product will fit so it's it's zero since it will never appear here then we'll make another plot yeah. then you just hit on run okay so guys I hope that you understand this first tutorial uh, if you have any further question concerning how to use ODE 45 and the M file just email me you have my email so salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh